here. And boy, oh boy, I'm super excited because we finally managed to get all the Hello Neighbor Pop figures to review for this episode. And the crazy thing about these Hello Neighbor Pop figures is that they only made one regular figure and six exclusive figures, which uh, are all of the neighbor. <laughs> oh man, six figures of the same guy? That's just crazy. Put all these guys together and we have seven different figures from the Hello Neighbor line to check out. And just look at this crazy assortment of figures. We get the regular figure up here, and then the rest are exclusives. Walmart, Walmart, FYE, Toys R Us, GameStop, and Barnes and Nobles? Huh. Boy, you guys just really went overboard here. Oh, what can I say? We just love exclusives. Yep, I guess so. All right, well, despite there being a billion exclusives, the first one we're gonna check out is not an exclusive. Heh, <laughs> yep, he's the regular neighbor, which is number 261. All right, so let's get this guy out of here and see what he looks like. And then we have the super cool neighbor pop figure who uh, is holding a shovel. Oh, super cool. And of course, on top of that shovel there, we have the iconic crow that's <laughs> also in pop form. Oh, I just love that. But if you like Hello Neighbor, you'll see that they did a really good job on this guy because he looks just like he does from the video game. Yep, I look super cool. All right, time to check out another exclusive here, and, uh, hmm, which one to check out first? Well, we'll check out this Walmart one since, uh, well, there's two of them. Two Walmart exclusives? Huh, I don't think I've ever seen that happen before. Well, let's check out the first one. And this is a really cool version of the neighbor that's holding, uh, milk and cookies. Oh, check that out. I think he's got the same face as the other pop figure, so we know those are the same. Oh, just look at that. The glass of milk he's holding is clear. Oh, cool. So it actually looks like a glass of milk. Wow, I just gotta love that attention to detail that Funko put into these things. Now, if they'd only stand up. <laughs> and of course, we're gonna check out the other Walmart exclusive now and see how much different this guy looks. All right, so check out this neighbor because he's holding glue. <laughs> oh, man. Now that's an exclusive figure. I guess it's kind of cool, but uh, it kind of seems like they're running out of ideas. It's like, here, let's have him hold milk and cookies, and uh, uh, what else can we have him hold? Glue? Okay, that sounds like a good idea. <laughs> let's have him hold glue. And now we have three figures of the neighbor. Hello, fellas, you want some milk and cookies? No, I've got glue in my hands. You want some glue? Well, unfortunately, that would be impossible for me because I need two hands to hold this shovel. Oh, you poor guy. Oh, I know, I'm a tortured soul. All right, time for another figure, and this time we have another neighbor figure with the axe and rope. And this is a GameStop exclusive. All right, time for GameStop to get their own neighbor figure. And here he is. And he comes complete with an axe and a rope, but of course we have the same head as all the other neighbor figures. All right, so for those of you keeping track, the regular neighbor figure we have here is number 261. And then the newcomer we have here with the GameStop exclusive is 262. And of course the Walmart exclusives come in at 263 and 264. So the next one we're gonna have to look at is the super cool exclusive over at FYE coming in at 265. All right, and this is the neighbor with the apron and cleaver. Yep, we've all seen this guy in plush form and every other form, but not in pop figure form. So let's check him out now. And boy, he looks super cool with that big old cleaver in his hands. And he also has an apron, which oddly enough, isn't all bloodied up like in the uh, plushy version. Oh, just give me time. I'll get it plenty bloody. Oh, I think he's dangerous. Oh, I think you're right. <laughs> Hello, fellas. Would you like to come over to my house for a second? Only if you eat my milk and cookies or take my glue. Or if I can wrap some rope around you or maybe hit you with my shovel. Holy cow, you are all demented as I am. Yeah, pretty much. All right, the next exclusive figure we have is a Toys R Us exclusive, which is number 266. And this is called Neighbor Pumpkinhead. <laughs> oh, that's super cool. Oh, check that out. It also glows in the dark. Ooh, this is gonna be a good one to unbox and look at. Oh, and there he is. The Neighbor Pumpkinhead uh, neighbor. Ha! <laughs> and just look at this cool looking figure. Yep. He looks just like the neighbor here, but with a pumpkin head. Ha <laughs> ha, you gotta love that. Such a super cool looking figure. But of course, if you're like me, you wanna see this thing glow in the dark. So let's turn out the lights and let's see him glow in the dark. 
Aw, oh, check it out! Oh man, that's super green! Gotta love that! Boy, Funko's getting really good at these glow-in-the-dark figures, because the first couple that they made didn't really glow in the dark that well. But this one looks awesome! Boy, I wish more glow in the dark on this guy, but, oh uh, well, I'll take what I can get. <laughs> and on those dark and scary nights, he's as creepy as a ghost! Oh, crazy! Blah, 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 blah. All right, the last exclusive figure we have here is a Barnes & Noble's exclusive figure, which is also the neighbor. And the number on this guy is 261? Wait a minute, I think we already have this one. So wait a minute, that doesn't make sense, because we already have a 261 with the regular neighbor figure. So how can this be 261 too? Ugh. Okay, well, whatever. But I can tell already from the uh, display window that this guy looks super cool. Oh, check it out. This guy is all made in black and white colors. Boy, you gotta love that. In fact, the only color on this guy is all the blood that's splattered all over him. <laughs> oh, creepy and gross. In fact, this figure is the same exact figure as the regular neighbor, just painted a different color. And of course, things get a lot more scary when they're in black and white. Ooh, yes, that's right, Puppet Steve. So, would you like to see my butcher knife? Uh, uh, no thank you! <laughs> and with that, we have a total of seven, count them seven, different neighbor figures for you to collect under the Hello Neighbor banner. Whoa, that's a lot of neighbors. What are we going to do about this? Let's have a neighbor party. Oh, that's a good idea. Oh, a neighbor party? Oh, can I join? That sounds like fun. No way, Puppet Steve. You're not the neighbor, so go away. What? Oh, what a jerk. <laughs> Woo! That's a lot of Hello Neighbor figures. And if I had to pick my favorites, well, they'd have to be this black and white one. He looks super cool. And the other one is the pumpkin head one. Because the bonus there is that it glows in the dark. Just gotta love that. Alright kids, well there they are. All the Hello Neighbor figures to collect in this fantastic Hello Neighbor series. Hey kids, Puppet Steve here, and today we're going to be looking at the Hello Neighbor Mini Plush Figures. Wait a minute, Mini Plush? What is that? Well actually the plush that looks just like you, but uh, only smaller. What preposterous. Yep, that's right, and the cool people that distribute these things were nice enough to send a whole entire box over so we can look at it. Oh, and check it out, there they are, the Hello Neighbor Mini Plush. Oh man, and look at that. We get uh, six in a box. All right, so last time we reviewed the regular size plushies, which stand about 16 inches tall. And of course, these mini plush figures stand 10 inches tall. And if we compare the two, we see that this guy is a lot smaller than this guy. Oh, cool, I guess they are mini plush. See, I told ya. <laughs> so if we look at the contents of the box here, it looks like we get six different plushies in all. And of course, the first one here is the regular Mr. Old Peterson. And I call him the regular Mr. Peterson because he's the only one that doesn't have anything in his hands. Yep, I just rely on good talent. Da, 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 da. I'm a good dancer and a singer. Next up in the box is Mr. Peterson with an axe. Oh, good for chopping off people's heads. Chop, 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 chop. He's a violent one, isn't he? Well, don't blame me. I just have a flashlight in my hands. <laughs> yeah, I guess you do. Oh, and what a coincidence, because ooh, our next plushie also has a flashlight in his hands. Just like, uh, you there. Oh, cool, and look at that. The flashlights both look the same on either plush. Oh, super cool. All right, the next plushie we have is, ooh, it's the butcher plush. Ooh, just check him out. He's got that butcher knife in his hand and an apron on that's all bloody. Ooh, gross. But of course, if we compare him to his bigger plushie, just look at that. They look exactly the same, butcher knife and all. Well, you do need a good butcher knife at the house. Oh, I agree. I just love cutting up meat with my butcher knife. Oh, me too. Oh, let's be friends. Oh, cool. Uh, okay, well, moving on, we have two plushies left. And this one is, oh, it's the coffee cup neighbor. Oh, check that out. He's got the coffee cup in his hand and he's just like the big coffee cup neighbor. Oh, cool. They look exactly the same, but uh, the only thing that separates the two is the size. Because I am bigger and I am smaller. Oh, cool. We'll be friends too. All right, the very last plushie here, and probably my favorite, is the old clown plushie. Oh, cool. And this guy looks amazing because he's so colorful. 
In fact, he looks just like his bigger counterpart in every single way. Hey, you look just like me. Hey, you look just like me too. Oh, you want to be friends? No, I don't. Oh, what a jerk. Oh. Well, that big clown is a jerk. Yeah, I know. He keeps stealing my mail too. Ooh, he's a big jerk. All right, we'll put all these guys together and we have our six different plushies that come packaged one per box here. And what's interesting is that five of these figures look exactly alike. So I'm almost positive that the clown plushie is going to be a fan favorite. And once he's gone, well, all you're going to be left with is a bunch of neighbor plushies. Ugh. Well, there's nothing wrong with that. Nope, nothing at all. All right, guys, well, there they are. The super cool mini Hello Neighbor plush.